video is going to be about how to speed up your charge master. Very simple method to decrease your time in half. To cut your time in half that it takes to throw charges. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright, so first off, one thing I'm going to show you is that uh, RCBS actually sent me some instructions on how to tweak your settings. And in order to do that, you, um, let's see, make this video. You press the edit memory and the enter button. And you'll get into the adjust set parameters. Okay. 15.68 is the parameter that came in the very first one. The first three are important. The second one, I tweaked a little bit. I set to six. And the third one, I set to one. I think it was one point something. Anyway, I think uh, the, what I'm going to show you here doesn't really require these parameters change. But um, I'm also going to show you how to increase the accuracy of the loads that you uh the charges that you drop with this all right so basically there's other settings in here everything else i've got pretty much default i don't think i have anything else changed i was changing this one here sa i was changing that to six uh to three from six but i don't think that's actually necessary either i'm not going to change that one for the purpose of this video Okay, so once you get 18, you press it, it reboots. Now, um, what I'm going to do, I've got uh, Winchester 748 in here, and I'm going to drop some loads, 21.6. Actually, uh, 21.6. And now... I don't have a stopwatch with me right now, but I wanted I wanted to show you how how these work. First off, I'm going to drop one. We're not even going to worry about it because the tube's being loaded up. Okay, so as it creeps up to 21.6. All this time right now is what I'm going to reduce dramatically. Let's dump this in here. So now you, with your stopwatch there, you can look on your screen where your time is. When it, when it starts moving, let's start counting. Right now. And this is where it uses a lot of the time between... Uh, like when it's about 20 grains up to 21.6. I'm going to do that again. Now what, what it's doing right now, behind the scenes, there's software running on this thing. And I believe that it's measuring time as it runs the fast dis the um, dispense. Creeping up on it. It measures how much weight changes per unit of time, probably seconds, with the powder that's being used. And we're using a very fine powder here. Okay, so it's considerable amount of time. I'll do one more. So you have, well actually that's the third one. Let's let's do With my settings and this particular powder, the, the machine works pretty daggone good. I'm going to, um, to show how it can work a lot better. Keep going. Back to what I was saying. It's, it's taking a while here. Okay. Back to what I was saying. When it's in the fast dispense period I believe that it's measuring how much powder flows through the nozzle amount of weight per unit time 
and that uh, dramatically affects how long it takes in the trickle mode because the scale is lagging the measurement of the weight of powder that's in the air and that's in the pan. It takes time so it slows way down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install my nozzle that I've made for this and uh, in order to do that I'm going to tip it back here. Install this. Now I want you to observe how much time it takes to now we've got to load the tube so let's throw away this first measurement there's nothing falling out and finally let's just cancel this one and then we'll we'll uh, dump this back in now I'm gonna put 21.6 21.6 enter and what I want you to do is when it starts spinning here that I want you to um, take your time measurement look where you're at in this video right now and look where you stop and you'll get an idea that it's taken half the amount of time the original one took now this part is actually slower where it gets up to the 20 grains but what speeds up dramatically is where it trickles so now you're going up and it's dramatic okay let's look at the, t the weight 21.6 let's do this again again right now the software is measuring the flow rate per unit time that affects how quickly it trickles because it doesn't want to over charge and there again 21.6 Try it again. The software is pretty pretty intelligent here. That scale is lagging the actual weight because it takes time for it to settle. So it has to be careful how much it trickles. When the trickle increments are much greater, it has to take more time. Because my nozzle restrictor or flow rate modifier what I like to call it an FRM because it slows down the trickle amount it's able to make more trickles at finer resolution at the very last stage in order to come up to the exact measurement you're looking for now people some people have told me they have really bad problems with this this machine working with different powders and it does it you need to you need sometimes to tweak the settings the settings that I showed you early on there I believe are good settings seem to work for stick powders that I've tried work for flake powders this and this is a ball powder I really like it RCBS actually recommended I change one of the, the parameters the third parameter to speed it up but that wasn't the problem what the problem was is inside mine you weren't getting the fine trickle at the end because the bearing that the that this tube was going through one of the two bearings was frozen solid and it was causing a big load on the stepper motor inside or not stepper motor the on the little DC motor that's inside there and it was making it so that it would just make a chirp but not actually move the nozzle so it was throwing low charges it was stopping it was given up after some amount of time and now it works fantastic by the way RCBS told me that well you're out of warranty or the spokesperson for RCBS I should make sure that I say that who they have answering their phones said that well you're out of warranty go ahead and take it apart see what you can do with it and um, then once again this is this is a dramatic improvement over the the rate how much time it takes I'm selling these little nozzles right now through Facebook you can send me a private message and uh, on my loader tools group and I'll put some links down below when I get uh, this video uploaded but should be uh, dramatic
and if you notice every time this is 21.6 because this little avalanche of powder that's sitting on this is smaller when you have this modifier on here it's smaller so that what falls over what avalanche could happen won't throw this over as much so they ch they say that this scale is good for a, a tenth of a grain plus or minus well i think with my modifier on here it's probably sub tenths of a grain and because every time i'm getting fantastic charges uh, dispensed on here let's do this one last time and you can go back and look at the video how long it took for each one of these but you're going to see that it's very consistent with my nozzle on here and it's consistently faster as much as uh, 50% of the original time. I provide three different size nozzles and I think for this powder I would actually use a, a medium nozzle because it's so fine and um, I think it would it would work good. This is the larger nozzle if you're in a rush I guess this is the one to use some powders you're throwing like three or four grains for like a 38 if you're using this kind of machine for that you don't want to wait all day while, while it